Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello there. Thank you for joining me again. I'm going to be talking about a TV show. Short-lived, but much needed. Sense8. I did not find this TV show out of nowhere. This was something I had put on a list. At the time it came out, I was not into the origins of it, who created it, anything. I just happened to see people talking about it, particularly family and friends that I appreciate and love. And I had jotted down that I would give it a shot. Um, it's created by the Wachowskis and J. Michael Straczynski. It's written by Lana and Lily Wachowski, Straczynski, and a couple of others. Also, they did directing duties. I am not in the camp of things need to be super popular, super high ratings to maintain their um, prominence in or on television. The shows like Buffy, my favorite show ever, possibly. That show would not have get, gotten a chance. It had a short first season, you know, how it gains traction, the decisions they make behind the scenes to have a show um, stick around, even with uh you know ratings problems this show when i first heard about it was supposedly doing really good uh critical acclaim you know so on and so forth i was surprised that when i got into it and i devoured it it was canceled and the uproar from the community got it to be given a i guess an end episode finale the actors in this are amazing the writing is superb it pushes boundaries in so many areas that are much needed i didn't think i was gonna like it at first it had a real a real sense that made you open your eyes um the premise wowed me and got me in, but the heartfelt stories, the emotion, the reality of the situation, even in a, you know, somewhat, you know, just an unreal situation. I'll give a little bit of away in case anybody's interested in wanting to know about spoilers. I don't give away major plot reveals or anything, but it's centered around a group of people who are linked psychically. And they share emotions and thoughts and memories. They find a connection, and that's the genesis of the show, let's say. And then it goes into the mythology of it, what, what they are, how they fit into the scheme of things and agencies and that type of thing. So you have eight people all, from all around the world. So you got a multinational cast, and they should be given awards for who they chose the casting people, uh, location shots, the editing, the narrative. You're breaking ground with transgender characters and LGBTQ. I don't know if I said it right, <laughs> all the initials, but they just broke ground. And I remember at the time I was focusing on my own type of music therapy. And there's parts in the show where I just cried and you felt it through the characters, through the writing, through the photog cinematography, the angles of the camera, the way they would mix and match people's thoughts and emotions and connect them to each other. Groundbreaking. Just amazing. And you get the chemistry of the characters. I, and I can understand certain people's initial turn off from the, the, the genre itself. Okay. Oh, it's maybe a supernatural type thing. Okay, so it's psychic. And then the showrunners and stuff are putting their own life and agendas into the movie. 
you know what? That do- that bothers me when it doesn't work, when it's not done good. So my mind is blown to a certain extent that this show is not even still going. And its fan base isn't growing daily. And maybe it is in the way things become a cult sensation. This show will definitely have one for years to come. And in my opinion, it might not be too late. They just finished the pilot in 2018. Not the pilot, I'm sorry. The finale in 2018. But because of the way they work the seasons, it seems like it was drawn out longer. Because it ended on a cliffhanger. And then, you know, the fans went nuts. Now, I don't know about super behind-the-scenes stuff. I just do a cursory glance at Wikipedia and some of the IMDb stuff. But usually it's just that something catches my attention, I rewatch it, and I'm stunned. I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not um, maybe world of mass appealing in certain areas, but this show is much needed. It It's just done so well that it makes you wonder how these industry things work. It makes you confused uh, looking at shows that are still on TV. They don't get the uh, ratings that a show, you know, might get like Sense8, but still around. Like it was given time to build up. I don't get why this show wasn't given everything and even supported in a way where it can gain that traction it needed to satisfy whoever the fuck it's satisfying. Now, there could be further behind the scenes things like the creators and the writers. I don't know. Maybe they all got frustrated and they hate each other. I guess things like that could happen. But the show, you know, from 2015 to 2018, in its way it made the seasons almost like uh, Game of Thrones, I could see it losing traction in the way it was put out. But other than that, when you look at the response when the people heard it was canceled on a cliffhanger, the fact that they came back and did it, I don't think you should be looking at those numbers like, oh, oh, only whatever number of millions came back and watched it. This thing should have never been canceled. It should have been given support. It's just done so well. Um, It's like looking at things that are done in a unique way, the breakthroughs that they did with filming locations, pulling out of shots into other shots, putting music in the show in a way that gives you goosebumps and makes you cry and the raw emotion. And you're building it around a sci-fi element that I'm really in love with. Now, it's not perfect. I will nitpick it here and there. You know, sometimes I roll my eyes how outrageous something would be or this doesn't make sense. But those nitpicks are just part of the growth of the show. If that was the case, I never would have gotten to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A show that I rightly agree with people at the first season. I can understand when they say, you know what, it didn't have a direction. It kind of lost me. So, you know, I haven't watched it. And my response would be, watch it because it gets better and better and hits a groove that maintains to the end or sort of the end because you think we're getting another half a season or something like that. Sense8, incredible show in my opinion. Should have been supported, given it time to grow. I don't care how many people are watching it. There are times when you need to put something out there that really opens people up, people's eyes. Giving people a perspective that they don't get to see, and maybe only a minority of people really understand it. And it's happened over the time, you know, in history, and me being born in 71, I've seen the efforts made to, you know, bring forth the injustices in the world, or perceived ones, if you want to get technical, or, you know, start a big, huge debate. There's a time and place where you recognize something's greatness, you put aside biases and traditional standards, 
when you let something grow and breathe and give it the commitment and the support it, and it needs long term. I think this would have been that show. I think this could have been a staple in television. And for the two seasons it did come out, I bet you for a lot of people it is the best thing they've seen. And just touching on the topics and the gender and this and that and uh, identity and just make a good show. And it did. So I don't see the reason why this show isn't still running. Why people aren't talking about it. Uh, what a cooler show, so to speak. Well, now and with the isolation in these coronavirus days. Just an amazing show, heartfelt, get ready for your heart to be pulled on. Yeah, you might roll your eyes once in a while at the premises that uh, are put forth and the scenarios, but casting, everything just works and it is real to a certain extent that is unique. I recommend this show to everybody, even the ones that are going to make it, they can make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, you're supposed to feel uncomfortable. And you're supposed to be able to let let go and cry and have empathy with certain characters and situations that you're not, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't, it's not in your orbit. I think it's a eye opener. I don't know. I'd love to see this show come back. I'd love to get back into the world, delve into the characters again, see where it's going with things like X-Files and heroes who've come back and done some things, maybe not as well as others. This is not a lost cause in the sense that it was 2018 when the finale came out. But I am a little shocked that it was canceled. And maybe it's like weird that I, had, like I said, I didn't get it on the beginning. I wasn't there waiting for the premiere and watching it. It was something that came on my radar and I jotted it down. And when I started watching it, I just went crazy and absorbed everything. And then I'm, then I'm like, oh, they can't, what? They're canceling it? This is, this is insanity. So I don't know. This is definitely a recommendation to watch Sense8. I'm sure you can find it on streaming services. I would think that it's something that has a chance maybe of coming back at some point. Um, you know, I'm not sure if all the players are in the right positions in life to, uh, you know, put that effort in. But I'm not sure if some of them are super famous now and et cetera. Well, we know the Wachowskis and Straczynski are big time in the industry. Hmm. It's a shame, in a way. This is a multinational show done incredibly well. Watch Sense8. My best to you and yours. Stay safe.